I don't need to stress the importance of the red zone to you guys at this point. We know that coming away with seven is paramount. You take three, that opens you up to losing ball games simply because you're not as efficient in the money downs as your opponent. So today I'm gonna to share with you guys a concept that I absolutely love. This is out of the Kansas City Chiefs offense, but don't worry, you don't have to switch to my playbook if you don't want to, it's just available for you if you so wish. We're gonna be calling the formation known as Trey Y Flex Strong. And the reason that I like this is it allows me to have four strong on this combo and that's really what we're looking for. So I'm gonna choose to play, it does not matter, flood set. Now, the cool thing about the red zone is a lot of players go four down linemen down here, they rush three, they rush four. This is the perfect candidate for this concept. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line our trip up to the short side of the field and we're going to introduce or reintroduce if you guys are no stranger to this channel you know what the concept is we're going to be using the flip streak so when we flip our formation all the receivers are going to run to the other side we're going to choose the one that's the most inside receiver and put him on a streak as he hits the right guard this will ensure that he releases to the right before running up the field now with the rest of our combo what we're going to create is a flat wheel combo so for here, we're going to go ahead and put X on a smoke just to hold a purple zone or a flat zone. And I'm going to put right bumper, the running back on a wheel. This switch combo in which the B receiver runs over the middle and then up the field versus the running back who's going to run to the outside and then up the field is going to allow us to throw either of these options against stock zone. So it doesn't matter whether there's a user on this play or not. In fact, I would actually argue that when they do user this, it's even more wide open. So let's go ahead and show you guys how this works. So let's start off with the running back. This is not a new concept at all. This little quick throw to the flat is always a great route that you guys can work with. Now, the key with this is going to be if it is an AI player, you're going to want to make sure that you hot route your little flip streak a little bit closer to the center. You want him really busting over the middle. You gotta give him that hook and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> to pull that hook zone defender in. And it's okay, even if the linebacker doesn't shift to the inside, let's say he hangs out overall on the running back, you're actually gonna be able to throw this ball as just an inside pass lead to the B receiver. So you're just reading the trip side hook defender. If he's in no man's land, it's basically gonna be a touchdown for either. If it's a user player, then obviously it's gonna be even more wide open for you. So again, I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna put right bumper on a wheel. I'm gonna be on the flip streak on the right guard. And we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that somebody else holds a flat zone defender. So with Carmichael as the user, let's say that when the ball snap, they jump all the way to the outside. Like I said, this is wide open. It's like a playmaker drag straight up the field. Whereas if he just sits in the middle of the field, this is an easy walk-in touchdown provided that you make a better throw than what I just showed right there. I'm not sure why that was incomplete, but obviously that's very wide open. And this is so great because the 4-3 even 6-1 Mabel meta is extremely prominent in Madden. Now, before we get into that, if you guys are enjoying today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed right here to the Zan Madden YouTube channel. I'm dropping all kinds of nuggets, whether it's meta or off meta in the mornings with short form content in the afternoons. Sometimes it's a blitz pickup. Sometimes it's a bomb formula. Sometimes it's a pass rush tip or a blitz setup. I'm helping you guys morning and afternoon, Monday through Friday. Make sure you guys are locked in right here. And if you guys really enjoy this, make sure you guys head over to gridirongameplans.gg, the best place in the community to get better at not only Madden, but also college football 25 as we are running our pre-sale for both titles right now on the website in madden 24 alone we will have posted over 300 vault tips that's what the pros are doing and how to counter it those are updated weekly in our vault we also included no additional charge unlike many of our competitors all offensive and defensive game plans so you guys can take a whole scheme or take parts of a scheme and install the vault tips we're going to be running this on madden and college football this year so plug in with me make sure you guys take advantage of the pre-sale it's the best offer that i have all year long save yourself 50 bucks over paying month to month go check it out link is in the description so naturally a lot of players really like to go into this four three even six one quarters um and this is so popular down in the red zone and this is truly where this gets crazy so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take you guys into just a regular three by one set a three by one set is one in which you have three receivers to one side and a solo receiver to the other traditionally the running back is on the solo receiver side so we're going to call y stick here at a trade open offset and we are going to basically do the exact same thing i'm going to flip it and the inside most option is actually the tight end i'm going to put him on a flip streak over to the right now from here we're going to put the running back on a wheel now they're both running the same direction but we're going to motion the running back so now he's going to the other side so this is basically the same concept you're just going to utilize motion of the running back to make this work 
So now again, you're just reading the user and this four, three, even six, one, they're always gonna be down here, kind of like standing over the center. And when the ball is snapped, you're just basically going to kind of figure out, are they jumping the running back or not? If they jump the running back, you throw this little route as it cuts up, it's an easy walk in touchdown. If they decide to stay home in the middle of the field, obviously you're gonna have a very, very simple throw out to the running back. So we go ahead and run this concept again. I'm just gonna flip it. I'm gonna put A on the streak on the right guard. I'm gonna put our running back on a wheel. I'm gonna motion the running back across. A lot of times too, when they see this running back kind of float, they think auto motion swing screen. So a lot of times they'll just jump all the way out to the flat. Obviously that's gonna make that throw inside the Mackie all the easier. But again, if they do just kind of stay home and strafe, this is an easy walk in. You're just gonna hit the conservative catch. Even if they drop it, it's gonna be a touchdown. Just the way the game plays. Don't yell at me, don't shoot the messenger. Huck to it. So again, pretty easy stuff here. And obviously this is something you guys can run under center as well. It is a little bit tougher, but I do wanna show you guys how this behaves. Call a formation that has at least doubles. Again, smash the doubles up against the short side of the field. And again, if you guys are dealing with any type of four down lineman defense, they're probably going to be, you know, in an over G of four, three, even six, one. That's where you're really gonna eat off of this. So what you're gonna do, flip your play, figure out who the inside player is. It's gonna be B here. So I'm gonna put him on the streak over the middle. You're gonna put Tyreek Hill on a smoke or some sort of out route. You're gonna wheel the running back. Pretty simple. Then from there, you just go ahead and snap the ball, read that linebacker. You see right here, easy walk-in touchdown. That linebacker kind of held on the little flip streak. So you have a simple pass leading a walk-in touchdown. Again, the next time you're gonna flip the play. Let's say that for whatever reason, they decide to user on this side and they, you know, take the running back. So we're gonna mimic that by manning up Carmichael here. We snap this ball. You see him kind of float to the outside. Boom, you're throwing this route instead. Very easy, just a little one-two read inside switch combo. Really, really great just because you also have the ability if your opponent is, you know, really over adjusting their defense to still attack the perimeter. If there's no flat zone at all, you can throw the smoke or the flat holding route that we've just been using as decoy on this play. There's so much you could do with this concept, but I'm telling you, I've been eating it up in the red zone with this concept. And I hope that you guys will as well install it in your offense immediately. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments section. We are only two weeks away from College Football 25. Go sign up for that pre-sale on Gridiron Game Plans. I'll see you guys this afternoon with our next YouTube short or tomorrow with another long form video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab and good luck.